All right, so we just sat down and watched Monstrous with Christina Ricci, and it's fresh on our mind, so let's talk about it. Now, this is from the director of The Lost, which is a film I've actually been wanting to show her hmm. because of Mark Center. A Sentner, Center, I never know how to say the guy's name, but I'm a big fan of his work uh, in The Lost as well as Red, White, and Blue. Um, he's also really good in The Devil's Carnival and uh, so on. But uh, this director did The Lost, which is really, really surprising to me. He also co-directed All Cheerleaders Die, which was supposed to get a sequel uh, that was teased at the very end of the movie. But I don't know if that ever is going to happen. Um, hmm. But he's actually done a few movies that I've seen, and I was not expecting that. But this film follows a mom and her son moving to a new town after a tragedy. And it's set in the 50s, and she is trying to reestablish herself uh, as now a single mother living in the 50s. And they move into this new house and their landlords are comprised of a man who wants to be generous and a woman who is not too pleasant with her, <laughs> doesn't want her even around. And so she's just kind of dealing with being a single mom in the 50s. And while they're in their house, uh, there's something coming out of the lake to disrupt their day. Mostly their night. <laughs> Mostly their Mostly night, their but night. sometimes the day. Yeah. Um, it says in here that the kid's supposed to be seven. That kid is not God, seven. God, he That looks... kid is like 11, maybe? Yeah, he looks 10 at least. At me, least. But... Um, okay, so I want to start with the positives. Mm. Um, overall, in the end, as a whole, mm. I did like the movie. Um... I found it to drag a little bit, and it also felt very tropey. That said, I know I said I'm going to start with the positive, and then I kind of said, <laughs> but I, I want to say I did like the movie, so that was the spot starting with the positive. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely not going to be for everybody. I find that a lot of people are going to find this movie boring or mm. whatever. Uh, but I thought Christina Ricci was great. Mm -hmm. I thought the monster looked freaking really cool mm -hmm. and I would have definitely liked more of that um you can see one of the twists coming from about um I don't know 7,000 I mean we're literally on there's a, a shot <laughs> of the earth from on our television right now as it's like flying over the earth that's about how many miles away you can see this twist coming yeah. <laughs> I guess the twist in like four seconds she guessed the other twist in like 20 minutes which yeah. I she was on she was on that one. I knew it. Um so but what this film ended up having to say and how the twists played in, I thought was pretty cool. Mm. And I thought Christina Ricci's performance was really solid mm. overall. Like everywhere where she needed to be this or that mm. for the film, I thought she really, really nailed it. And I can't get into more specifics because that would be spoiler territory, but whatever was asked for her from her in this, I feel like she delivered. And um, this is a chicken for the chicken soup for the soul yeah, production. production. Um, I didn't even know they made these. <laughs> I didn't I thought either. They, I thought it was just the books. I thought it was going to be like something lifetimey. And it kind yeah, of is. It kind of is. It kind of is. It's, it's just like, got maybe a little scarier of a monster than you would see in a in a lifetime movie. A little bit more hardcore lifetime. Yeah, but lifetime not night. too too <laughs> hardcore by any means. No. It's um <laughs> it's a slower burn mm -hmm. psychological thing that does feel uh tame. But sure. I liked it. I it's it's one of those like really soft recommendations for people who are big fans of Christina Ricci, yeah. like I am, and they want something that they're like, well, I don't have anything else to watch, mm. you know. But I love Christina Ricci, and I'm okay with it being kind of generic. Mm -hmm. That would be my recommendation. Like I liked it fine. In the end, I was like, oh, it's better than I expected. Because we were kind of, like, not into it. Yeah. <laughs> and then when it ended, we were kind of like, oh, that was all right. Okay. That was a 
okay. Like, they kind of pulled it together in the end. Mm -hmm. You know? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to repeat a lot of what you said because I agree with it on a like as a whole. I think that it's kind of a generic, predictable film to an extent, but I like the monster, I like her performance, yeah. and I do think that although the uh, tropes and the, the twists were predictable, like you said, in the end, I think it comes together really nicely. And, you know, it's, it isn't for everyone, but it's not a waste of time necessarily yeah that feels like a very not encouraging thing to say to watch a movie but well our I recommendation right. isn't it's yeah. super encouraging it's not it's like a sort of recommendation yeah like, yeah so it's an okay movie it's fine it made me i said to you that when we started it it was just gonna make me want to watch yellow jackets to see christina ricci and that and that is true i do want to watch yellow jackets instead one thing we were dead wrong on is we tried to fill in some kind of subtext oh yeah i don't know what that was we were way off way off but we were like seeing all these like clues for something that just was not it did not, not amount there. to anything <laughs> which is cool because so, what it ended up being was part of the twist yes it and really i liked it I did like the, the twist that you guessed and mm. kind of how it was handled. And mm -hmm. there's one moment in the film where it alludes to that's the twist. And that's when you guessed it. Yeah. And I was just like, nah. <laughs> but I kind of thought it in the second when you said it, I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there was nothing else. And I was like, well, no. But then it was. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, you really caught on to that mm. one line. Um, that is so minor. But that's but the same just, with yeah. the other one. There's a line in the beginning that it's just like, oh, that's it. Like, if you're any kind of, like, movie oh, lover. Oh, I guess the twist. And have seen a lot of films and, yeah. yeah, watch those kinds of tropes. Like, you just, you see it, like you said, from so many miles away. So. Literally within one minute. Yeah. One minute. <laughs> I was like, this is what's going to happen. It's and, a soft recommendation. Yeah. That's about all I have to say, really. I don't, yeah. I don't think I have anything else. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Let's move on. All right. Bye. Oh, no, bye.